morning, everyone. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Marivit Education Center. This series is for Pratum 5. Let's learn some vocabulary words. All right, you will learn how to spell and pronounce some vocabulary words. Here are some vocabulary words for today. Are you ready? Here we go! Temperature Hibernate Soil Anchor Earthworm Please repeat the word after me. Temperature Good job! Let's spell it. T E M P E R A T U R E Temperature Great! The temperature of an area affects the types of animals and plants living there. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Hibernate. Good job. Let's spell it. H I B E R N A T E. Hibernate. Great. Polar bears hibernate to survive a winter without food. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Soil. Good job. Let's spell it. S O I L. Soil. Great. Soil provides nutrients for plants to grow. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Anchor Good job! Let's spell it. A N C H O R Anchor Great! An anchor is a device normally made of metal. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Earthworm. Good job. Let's spell it. E A R T H W 
O R M. Earthworm. Great! Earthworms do not have eyes to see or ears to hear their surroundings. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! In this lesson, you will learn how the environment, which includes water, sunlight, air, temperature, and soil, affect a living thing. Anything that surrounds a living thing is its environment. An environment affects a living thing. These are some factors in the environment which affect a living thing. We have water, sunlight, soil, and temperature. Where can you find water? Rivers, lakes, sea, and rain are all sources of water. Living things die without water. Water is needed in many other ways and quantities by living things. Water may be consumed by many living things. Do you see the animals drink water? Yes, they drink water, just like us, to live. Some animals use water as their habitat or home and they are called aquatic animals. Do you see the sun in the picture? Yes, the sun is the main source of energy in the form of light and heat. Do you know photosynthesis in plants? Yes, that's right. Plants need the sunlight for photosynthesis. Plants die without the sunlight. The air provides animals with oxygen for respiration to occur. It also provides a green plant with carbon dioxide for photosynthesis to happen. Do you breathe every minute? Then, you are breathing in oxygen in the air. Animals, including humans, generally need oxygen to live. We breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide for some animals, like the one in the picture, are adopted to live with almost no oxygen at all. What do you do if it's too hot in your house? Yes, maybe you turned on the air conditioner. And when it gets too cold, what do you do? Yes, Turn it off. This is the same for animals too. An ideal temperature is very important. Some birds move to another place when it's too cold during winter. Most plants need the soil to grow. Soil is also a habitat for animals. Can you think of a specific animal that live in the soil? Good job! Earthworms live in the soil. Earthworms sense their surroundings by using their skin. They also have streamlined body to help them burrow through soil. There are some factors in the environment that affects a living thing. These factors include the sunlight, temperature, water, and soil. Thank you and see you in the next episode!